Mr. Marley has been dead these seven years. Huh. In fact, he died seven years ago this very day. Well, it's pretty exciting to be part of a, a performance that speaks to the, the Christmas spirit, the heart, the charitable endeavor around it. She is not changed by the harshness of the world. Yeah, it's always been one of my favorite Christmas movies, so it's cool to be a part of it in play form. Then you no longer love me. You no longer love me. When have I ever said that? In words, never. Well, in what then? In the way you've changed. How am I changed towards you? By changing toward the world. <laughs> Yeah, so I play his fiance in the play and we're married in real life. They're spectacular in what they're bringing to this show. Having an actual newlywed couple playing Alice and Ebenezer. Never acted a lick in my life. Never once. <laughs> I Was... talked him into it. We were driving by and saw this sign and we thought, hey, let's sign up. <laughs> the script itself tries to make me a better man. One of the things I like to take from this is to try and be better than I was the day before. A Christmas Carol speaks to how everyone can change. No one is beyond repentance of their own misguided deeds or faults. And it speaks to the spirit of Christmas being helping your fellow man. Is it such a terrible thing? for a man to struggle for something greater than he is. <sighs> Another idol has replaced me in your heart, a golden idol. It's, it's singular in a world that can be brutally cruel to the poor, yet profess to condemn the pursuit of wealth in the same breath. You fear the world too much. Well, with reason, but I've not changed towards you. Aren't you? Our promise is an old one. It was made when we were both poor and content to be so. If you had never made that promise, tell me, would you seek me out and try to win me now? Of course I would. Of course I no. Would. If you were free today, would you choose a dowerless girl with, with neither wealth nor social standing? You who now weigh everything by gain. No, I bring you nothing but repentance and regret. That is why I release you. You, you know I'm right then. I must bow to your conviction that you are. May you be happy in the life you've chosen. Thank you. I shall be. Goodbye. Ebenezer Scrooge actually holds a dear place in my heart. I've wanted to play this role since I was about 13 years old. Why should your wife go to a debtor's prison? She didn't borrow the 20 pounds, you did. What does your wife have to do with it? Furthermore, what have I got to do with it? Good afternoon. But Mr. Scrooge, it's Christmas. Christmas has even less to do with it, sir, than your wife has or I have. You still owe me the 20 pounds, and you are not in a position to repay, even if it was in the middle of a heat wave on August bank holiday. Good afternoon. Goodbye. Go after her. Don't be stupid, boy. Go after her!